You know I've never spoken to Sudi. Uh, I tell you now. Um, There's not been meetings happening. Nothing. Okay. The, I met Soli after I left the ANC at the funeral mm -hmm. of uh, Ahmed Kathrat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This year. This year, I greeted him with uh, some few exchanges, and that's it. Uh, and then uh, that was the last time. And uh, Soli said himself, if he had my phone, he would call me to thank him for having so, alerted South Africa about. Uh, the dangers which uh, he was facing. I, I've never met so I've never met the Communist Party. Mm -hmm. uh, the people I've been meeting is the opposition mm -hmm. uh, in our own, uh, you know, ordinary meetings to exchange the notes and uh, you know ideas on how we can best challenge the status quo, how we can take uh, joint uh, uh, programs mm -hmm. to ensure that the president steps down. Even in those meetings, there is no discussion about a broad front in uh, come 2019. It, it's not an idea which we think is a hostile idea. Mm -hmm. The power that is concentrated in one political party leads to that political party being corrupt uh, because it has got no partners who are from time to time threatening to walk away <laughs> like we do uh, with the DA and mm -hmm. the IFP. Uh, every time they irritate us, we're like, uh -huh, you're starting. And then they, they go back to order. Um, look at Helen Zide's uh, situation. Helen Zide had said two weeks before, I will never apologize, uh, I will not incriminate myself, and all sorts of things. And after listening to that statement, we're like, she's too arrogant. Let's humble her. Mm -hmm. And then we demanded her to be removed. Uh, that's how demands work. You go to the extreme. And then you get to bargain, and then they're like, ah, no, no, wait, yeah, we hear you, uh, but we'll get her to apologize. And then we make her do what she said she will not do. Mm -hmm. The DA is not one party with an abnormal amount of power. That humbles their leaders, that humbles white arrogance, mm -hmm. who are happy with the growth in Eastern Cape and uh, KZF. We now are also... Uh, sending a strong team in the Western Cape because we don't understand why there's no significant growth in the Western Cape because the ANC's presence there is very weak. Mm -hmm. uh, the ANC is at its weakest state. So we must take the advantage of the weak state of the ANC in the Western Cape and build a strong EFF uh, you know, uh, alternative.